look at those yummy delicious oreos scattered all over the back seat now the main thing we're, we're going to focus in this video is just this cup holder area i actually recorded the entire process of the interior cleaning um, detail but i'll post that on another video here i'm just going to show you the cup holder area folding thing cleaning process if you want to know the tools and products that we use check the description box down below and if you're looking to start your own detailing business, check for those guides down below. Okay, so before we actually got to the steam cleaning, we first did a vacuum to remove any loose debris or in this case, Oreos. But now we're gonna use the steam cleaner to work the edges of that plastic cup holder. So if anything's trapped in between the seams, so if there's maybe some dry Oreo or some just loose debris, is we're gonna be able to push it out. Now I'm telling you, this is not the strongest steamer out there, but this is our second unit. We've used this for the past three years and we've gotten amazing results. Does it smell like Oreos? Uh, it smells like chocolate. So in the, before, in, the, in the before footage, there was actually a lot more gunk in there. What we did was simply, we took one towel and we called it our, sac our sacrificing towel where we just literally scooped up as much of the gunk as we could and we just threw the towel out. So now here we're using the steamer to get any last bit of that nastiness out of the cup holder. And as you could see beforehand, Anthony was actually covering the steamer in front of his with a towel. And that's because as you're steaming the cup holder, there's going to be some overspray, meaning like it's going to jump back out to you. So if you have the, the towel in front of you, you're going to end up catching some of it and not letting it land in this case on me or the camera, but also like on other areas that you just don't want that nastiness to land on. So that's why he's putting the towel in front to just, to just kind of put a barricade between all that steam and the other surfaces. It's not perfect, but hey, it does help out. Chicken and rice, literally all day. And there we go, it's basically good as new. Like I said, we had the first towel that we used, we just scooped up as much gunk as we could and threw that towel out. This was the remaining bit. We steamed it, mopped it up, used a towel, put it in there and just kind of swiveled it around and it got most of it. So now we're gonna do a last bit of uh, touch-ups on the actual plastic cup holder. It was encouraged to eat a lot. Pretty good? Whether well, it's through an extractor or machine, whatever you want. All right, and now we're gonna prep up for the shampooing part on the cloth seat. As you can see, I put that towel in the cup holder just to minimize more of the liquid or anything getting into the cup holder since we've already cleaned it. I'm just gonna put the towel there to not let anything enter it since it's already clean. Here we're using super clean diluted 10 to one and we're using the DeWalt cordless drill with an interior brush attachment. We're gonna have it on, we're gonna use medium pressure on medium speed, I guess you could say. We don't need to go overly aggressive since it is a small section. Okay, and you, you can already tell it's looking much better, but now we're gonna fold it up with the steamer using a towel to just minimize the heat transfer and the moisture that gets to the cloth material. And then we're gonna use another towel just to mop up anything that we can to help speed up the drying process. and looking much better. Now we have to do the other part there where there's a little bit of a stain, but we can go ahead and touch everything up. We're literally going to replicate the same process, but because that section is a bit softer, 
we're even we're using even less product using even less pressure but we're still going to get the same results And because we're working in a small section, um, we're not too concerned about making our, about wrapping the towel around the triangle head. We know where we're at. It's not getting much in the way. If we're working larger areas, then we would wrap it around the triangle head. But in this small section, not a big deal. And there we go. Now we have to use another towel just to mop up whatever we can just to help speed up the process. But other than that, that's going to be the entire process on cleaning those Oreos, gunk, nastiness stuff that was all over the cloth and plastic cup holder. Now you might be saying, well, it's still wet. Is it going to stay like that? Are stains going to come out? Well, yes, we didn't use much water or anything here. So it's going to stay like this. But just to show you, this is when, when once we're done with the detail, it's 110% dry, I think, or at least 99% dry, and this was the end result.